We will be discussing the general concept of public health and the five levels of prevention. Public health is the inclination of public organization aware and helps people with their illness, chronic diseases, and injuries by preventing anything regarding the public health with organization and campaign to help. It focuses on the entire population by preventing health risks and threats by getting involved in the society. One example of primordial prevention would be developing a subsidized fitness program in a community which can help reduce the risk of developing diabetes or obesity. An example of primary prevention is enforcing public and school-based health promotion program. This can encourage children to exercise regularly and make good nutritional choices to help prevent childhood obesity and other related disorders such as diabetes. Another example would be immunization and smoking sensation programs, which protects against the effects of a specific disease agent and overlaps with health promotion. And lastly, primary prevention decreases the incidence of infection by addressing infection risk factors by using active and passive approaches. The modes of intervention within the subclinical stage involves the use of screening tests, which is central to secondary prevention and adequate treatment to control a disease progression. For instance, in terms of the intervention of an individual, the progress of the diagnosis for metabolic syndrome would involve screening for diabetes. Moreover, for the population, the intervention for the treatment of controlling metabolic syndrome includes implementing exercise programs and community-level weight loss. Another example of secondary prevention interventions for individuals include hemocult stool testing in order to detect collateral cancer early. The treatment for collateral cancer also includes organized colonoscopy screening programs for the population interventions. Examples of tertiary prevention include interventions for individuals and populations dealing with infectious diseases such as hepatitis C involve virus therapy to prevent transmission and to treat the infection, as well as making sure that high-risk sites are closely controlled. Secondly, intervention for metabolic syndrome involve recommendation to cardiac rehabilitation clinics and implementing multidisciplinary clinics. Lastly, cardiac rehabilitation after suffering from a myocardial infarction involve looking at different ways to change behaviors to reduce chances of a reinfarction.